hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you thank you for tuning in so today we are doing the touristic stuff and i'm waiting for the person that i'm supposed to be meeting and i just thought you know what let me fill my hab habibis in so hi habibis please don't forget to do the lost work which is to subscribe I am at the Kingdom Tower in Riyadh. Remember, Riyadh is the capital of of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I nearly said South Korea. I actually just met some guys from South Korea. They saying they are the championships, I think, for wrestling or something. So they were so happy. I was like Anyong Haseyo, which means hello. And they were so surprised and I was like, they took me pictures because I'm alone and they were like, can some, I was like, can some meet us? So they were just happy. So I'm going to wait here because they're busy with the construction. So I just wanted to show you this tower. Um, while I'm waiting for the person that I'm supposed to be meeting, um, yeah, otherwise I'll go inside so I can get the view of you know the day view and also the night view right so the person is running late <laughs> this person i'm waiting for is running late which is fine um yeah someone was just basically asking me about the salaries the salaries in saudi how much to to do teachers make right is it even worth it to move to Saudi to wear the abayas and the hijabs and the heat? Is it really worth it? Is it worth it to enjoy all these changes, not eating pork, not partying, not, you know, changing your whole life because it's a different country? Is it worth it? Um, I would say it's very much worth it. We make so much money um, compared to other countries. And remember also our salary is not being taxed which is a very nice thing right uh, we don't get taxed and um, that is a good good thing about it so teachers from my school we and we earn almost the same salary right uh, maybe the difference will be 125 but yeah we earn about 50 yeah 50 let me just say 50,000 rands to 50,000 rands, right? So for me, I'm making uh, 54,000 rands here, 54,000 rands something to 55. It also depends on how weak the rent is on that particular day. Now the, the rent is getting weaker and weaker. So I just think, you know, I make more money because the economy in South Africa also is not doing so well. So I make about 55,000 rands and that's what we are making in my school. So it also depends on which school you are at. You can make less, you can make more. Because I know there's a girl that I just spoke to on, on WhatsApp. I think she's making a little bit more than we make. So, you know, there's a guy I know as well he was making making a little bit less than we make maybe less less by by two 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 thousands or less by one thousand or it can be more by one thousand but it's just around the same figure for teachers uh so so yeah um yeah that's what we basically make but if you are like American or British, obviously they make more than us. It's a rule of Saudi. That's how they actually, they yeah, it where is like that everywhere. So people from America and and all these other countries, they make more than us by a couple of thousands. It's not like a lot, lot, but yeah, they make more than us. Let's say if we make eleven thousand reals, maybe they are making twelve, fourteen depending on the negotiation depending on the experience and also depending on the country but all i know is that they make more than us we do the same job we have the same responsibilities nothing different and i've also noticed that we all make the same money it doesn't matter which grade you are doing you can be doing a certain grade but you still make 
more or less the same money we make like we make the same money even if you are a grade 10 teacher you make the same money as a kindergarten teacher so there's no difference in that because i thought there would be a difference in that because of the because obviously because of the grades are not the same the experience is not the same so a salary is standard for all the South Africans we make more or less the same money like even if it's more it's a little bit more maybe by 100 or by 200 if it's less also so yeah that's what we are basically making and yeah that's how much we make and we don't get taxed remember we still get like a free accommodation we don't have to pay for the accommodation I'm not good at vlogging so this will be my vlogging <laughs> it's content about teaching whatever and also just showing you around Riyadh so this is the building that I'm visiting is about 150 rials to visit I think is the tallest building in in the whole of Saudi yeah so this is the this is the downtown I mean the downtown is busy you can see there are a lot of cute cute cafes and it's not very far from my house I actually thought it was too far but it's very it's pretty close the amount to come here by by Volt or Uber is quite affordable so it's not bad at all so yeah I'm still here waiting for my friend and I just thought I should do this video and also the nice thing about uh, Saudi is that they hire nannies nannies make make good money here if they make good money maybe they can even make close to us if they have like a very rich family or they get bonuses and over time they can yeah they make a good money as well you know for a nanny <laughs> the amount of money they make here is so good because they stay with the kids they don't have to pay for accommodation so they also save quite a lot of money and they are drivers also they also make good money maybe it depends on which company you are working for and stuff like that and then we have nurses we have doctors so there are basically a lot of opportunities we have doctors i think doctors really really make good money in saudi and it specialists and engineers i think they also the main thing is to know arabic so we have guys from people from uh, sudan sudan is in the border of saudi so they speak arabic like you know those countries like um libya sudan uh, Morocco, uh, Tunisia, those are Arabic countries. They still speak Arabic, so it's easy for them to get jobs here and actually do make a good living. And there are a lot of Egyptians as well because it's also an Arabic country, they speak Arabic. So I think if you can speak Arabic and you can speak it very well, uh, you get a lot of opportunities out here. So I'm not gonna show my face, obviously. <laughs> I'm just showing you the view so I can go go and enter while I'm still waiting for my friend. Um, it's, it's pretty windy today, so the weather is not so bad. It's not that extremely hot. So I think the temperatures are also getting cooler and cooler. So yeah, the teachers could make good money provided that you don't pay tax, you don't pay for the accommodation, you get covered for health insurance, so and you get taken to school, you don't have to pay for that. So you can literally save all your salary and do some extra jobs like that they offer at school, like after school programs or daycare programs that they offer because you find that some kids' parents are working so hard and they finish late so you can literally just come here and do all of that you can you can you can work and live off that money so and there are not a lot of entertainment things to do where you can say i'm wasting money even dressing you don't have to worry a lot about clothing because we are always wearing our attires so yeah that's basically that guys about this video before they before they turn me away from here i've been standing here they don't know what i'm doing so i'm gonna leave it here guys please don't forget to subscribe like share this is yeah this is saudi i'm still gonna do a lot of these videos and let's go and see how the kingdom tower is like inside uh, someone told me if there's a mall inside someone told me it's a hotel actually i don't know what's happening so i'm going to find out thank you for watching bye